All right, we're down here at the brushy draw. Looks like uh, we had a little action where I caught those two on the drag. I see fox tracks going right to my set. But it sure looked like he had a good time digging out of that hole, but my trap, she's frozen, crusted over. With all that freaking rain we had, don't matter how much wax dirt you got, if you don't make sure you clean it off, it ain't going to go off. So it looks like a... The trap is right here. Tracks are right there. It is right in between. I'm going to have to start setting a little tighter to the hole. So uh, I'm going to get this one remade up and re wax dirt up, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, this is what we got. Uh, we're at the, still at the brushy draw. I redid uh, I redid that dirt hole. Kind of made it into a trench set. That's what it looks like right now. It's got the drag back there in the weeds. <clears throat> we already caught two fox here so there's plenty of scent but i did put some fresh bait i redid the whole trap and i put it a lot closer to the hole like two or three inches tight to the hole so we won't have any more just in case it's a gray fox they're more like cats they yeah, tread a lot lightly and uh, they're a lot smaller so they don't move their feet as much put a little yarn on the right hand side of that hole and i'm using a uh, gray grabber from ed sullivan's trapping supplies for uh, for the lure and some smoke beaver down the hole Alrighty, that's gonna be it we're gonna head on over to uh, where I caught the she devil and we're gonna redo those traps I'll show you some cool stuff there all right guys I'll see you when I get there all right guys today is a Monday and uh, we got a nice tracking snow two inches and I got some great footage of a fox there's a couple lessons to be learned I'm down in the brushy draw right here I am at the dirt hole set where I caught the uh, the she devil that I let go a few days ago or a week ago, something like that. And then across from the trail, I put a post set. And both traps were set off accidentally by uh, four wheelers or snowmobiles or whatever. So I didn't reset them because it was going to rain. And I figured, I'm just let me see what happens. So uh, I had two fox come into this post set. And you could see the tracks leading right to it. That's where I had the lure. And uh, both of them, more or less, took a bath right here in that skunky uh, gland lure that I put here. Violator 7. Stuff is awesome. I'm sure you've heard of it before. Anyways, the trap was already set off. This trap was sitting right there. And uh, I'm going to remake the set now, and uh, we're going to see what happens. So I'll set up the tripod. I'll remake the whole thing with wax dirt so it doesn't freeze. And uh, I think we have two days before it rains again. So let me get set back up and I'll bring you back in. I'll show you how to catch fox in the snow. All right, guys, I uh, set the trap already and pulled it out. And I lay in some wax dirt. And I get that thing as tight as we can get it in there in the wax dirt. No wobble whatsoever. And uh, I'm going to try something different for a pan cover. You can't use leaves or anything like that that freezes. So I'm going to use just a piece of plastic right over the pan. <clears throat> I just want it to envelope the pan and nothing else. That's it. I'm just going to broom it out flat. Now, I tried to keep <clears throat> as much of the fox tracks that were already here, I tried to keep them in place as much as I could. The only other thing is, <clears throat> you can see where the trap was sitting here. The lure was here, but they were right here, right in between that and the trap. So I have to, without messing up the camera, and take it from this side, I have to pull this forward and unfreeze it. Break it off and cover it with snow. Okay, so this is the stick that had all the lure on it right here. Pull this vine a little forward, just like that. The rest I'm gonna brush in with snow. So now the trap is just a few inches away, <clears throat> three or four inches instead of six to eight. 
Okay, so that's it. I pulled snow from down the trail a little ways, and you just have to give it a good sift. The trap will come right up. You have to keep in mind that you see the sun shining. <clears throat> that sun beats on that black trap. It's going to melt that thing right, right through the snow. So when I'm all done, I'm going to take my four-wheeler and go up and down this a couple times just to cover up my footprints. I'm just going to make this whole thing disappear. I'm going to re-lure that right there. Trap is right there. Tracks are right here. They come right around. Perfect. There's plenty of snow on top of that trap. <clears throat> Don't forget, black absorbs the heat, white reflects it. So that's that. Okay, now we're going to rebuild this dirt hole that they ignored completely, which I was surprised. There's not a track around it. So we're going to redo the dirt hole. Here's the trap that got ran over by something. You can see all this wonderful mud that it rained all day for two days. I'll bust out all those frozen chunks. You see, this isn't frozen because it was all filled with wax dirt. I'm gonna make like a trench set here. Reset the trap. Night latch. Pan was a little bit too tight for my liking. Okay. Wax dirt. That's a big trap for a fox, but somewhere around here I do have coyotes. I'm going to backfill it a little bit. <clears throat> a little piece of plastic. I'm going to fill it in. that out. I'm going to leave it mounded up. It's going to do the snow thing. And that's it. Because it's 18 degrees, you can use the smelliest bait you got. Maybe that's why they didn't check it out, because my bait wasn't strong enough. But at any rate, that's what it looks like here. Nice dirt hole in the snow. All waxed in. Nice post set right there. And uh, we'll see what happens the next day or two. They're coming right out of that brushy corner right there, so... We'll see what happens. We're running along the edge of the creek.